Hey, hey, hey. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Power of Attorney. Listen, Friday is always a great and fabulous day. I'm excited to be here with you guys. Again, welcome to Power of Attorney. I am your host, Latanya Moore. We are, we, we got a good show today. And, and listen, I want to thank you. I, I want to go ahead now already. You know, I have to give my gratitude up front. I want to thank all of you guys that are sending in those topics. Uh, actually, more than one person this week asked about email marketing. I know we had some other things that came up. And I said, you know what? Friday is our, uh, it's our light day. It's our bright day. You guys may hear the landscape outside, but that's okay. Uh, because again, welcome, welcome, welcome to Power of Attorney. I am so excited to bring you guys some email marketing tips. I just feel like the last few days, we have been talking about some pretty, pretty gloomy things. So I want to talk about something that's going to put dollars in your pocket. Okay. And one of those things is email marketing. You guys know that, um, I invite everyone to share this video. Please like and share this video. Let us know that you are here with us. Remember, guys, this is something that is interactive. Please put your questions in the comment section so that we can address those as we are moving forward. I am excited to bring you email marketing tips. Um, thank you guys for, for joining me. I want to... Uh, I want to thank our sponsors, her to TV, Global Grind Magazine. Thank you guys for supporting this show. We're going to be doing some major things with both of those, uh, both of those groups. So again, very excited about that, about the things that are coming. We are giving people a few minutes, you know, the first couple of minutes. So please stay with us the first couple of minutes. We want to make sure that people, you know, they, they know that we're here. And we want to make sure that they are able to get on. So we do our acknowledgments up front. Welcome to everyone who is joining live. Those of you that are joining on the replay, welcome. Don't forget, this is interactive. You can ask your questions right here. For those of you that are, that are new to the broadcast, this is my what I call my free consultation time. So if you have a question, you can actually put it right here, right here in the um in the comment section and again tell us who you are tell us what you do if you have a question about email marketing okay okay danielle you want to you need to learn more about how to market yourself well listen we can absolutely help you help you with that i'm not sure if you if you want more of a a strategy session again which we can set that up uh for you Put a little bit more uh, information without giving much, much detail. Um, Danielle, let us know the type of business that you have, because this is a very interactive group. Those of you that have suggestions for Danielle as she looks, about, looks into marketing herself, we want to make sure that we are all being supportive because, again, that is what this show is really about. It is about helping each other move forward because we all are doing different things. But guess what? We can all assist each other in, in being successful. So we're going to have just, just one or two more minutes. We're letting people get on in here uh, so that they can be a part of today's episode about email marketing. Um, again, for those of you that don't have the opportunity to uh, write things down, come back and watch the replay. Because a lot of this stuff, this information moves so fast, it's very difficult actually to um, keep up with it, you know, when you're trying to keep up with everything in your head. I think that people have kind of moved away from email marketing, but I think that when I share, and I know when I share some of these things with you to put it in perspective, it will, I think, give you, a, give you another perspective on email marketing. So one of the things that I heard someone say is that, they stopped doing a lot of email marketing because people are not, you know, people don't really open their email. People don't really check their email. So here's one of the things that, that I want to let you know. Okay, Danielle, I got you. One of the things that I want to let you guys know is this. There is a strategy with emails because think about it. There, you do this. I do it all the time. I go through my emails and I just kind of say, oh, okay, what's this about? 
So one of the main things that you want to understand about email marketing is you have to have a great subject that's going to entice people to open it. And it needs to be something that's going to make them feel like, okay, I need to open this right now. We, I, I don't want to spend today really going through all of those different things. But one of the things that you can do is you can do your own search about what are the types of emails that people tend to open, which means that when they open it, right, you need to have some good information for them. So that that's really the, the, the biggest thing. You want them to open it and then you want them to do what's called a click through, meaning they're setting up an appointment. They are reaching out to you. They are connecting to you. They're joining a new mailing list or whatever it is that you are putting out. So one of the top things that I want you guys to do is I want you to do your own research on what are the email topics that people open. I'll share a couple with you guys. And one of those is anything how to, right? Anything informational. We, we all are nosy, nosy by nature. If you're as old as I am, you remember naughty by nature, but this is actually nosy by nature. We want information, right? One of, one of my highest rank, or listen, if you are alleviating a pain point, one of my highest ranking morning shows was the other day when I did something about the Equifax breach. You know why? Because 143 million people, it's estimated, could be more, were affected. So lots of people wanted to find out about that. Okay. So let me give you some, some statistics on email marketing that you may or may not know about. I'm, I look, I got I to gotta find my, my, okay, here we go. More than, and, and my reference is superoffice.com. It's a, a, they don't pay me, but it's a really great, great blog with lots of information about things like this. Again, you can go in and, and learn a lot from that, but I want to share some things, some statistics that they, uh, that they found. More than 205 billion emails are sent every day. 205 billion emails are sent every day. It is estimated that that number is going to increase to about 246 billion in a year and a half, 2019, right? Two years, okay? That is cra a crazy amount of traffic, okay? One of the things that, that you really need to understand is that just like anything else, just like social media, just like other marketing strategies, email marketing changes. Like I told you guys at the top of the hour, you need to know what is it that's going to make folks open that email one. And then once they open it, what's going to make them go to that next level and connect with you? That's why you have to understand certain strategies. That's why I'm telling you, do your due diligence and research how to do this. So that when you, you can implement some of these things in your email marketing, it may not be immediate. It's like anything else. You need probably about 60 to 90 days to see is how effective this marketing strategy is. So again, 205 billion emails are being sent each day, right? 246 billion in two years, 2019. That's what's estimated, right? What worked five years ago in email? marketing doesn't work right now. Again, it's just like social media. It's just like anything else. But I want to share some things with you because something that you may not know now, I did not know until I started really researching this because you guys asked me, but check this out. For every $1 that you spend on email marketing, there is a $48 return. I was so shocked when I saw this, but then I thought about my own strategy. And I said, you know, I do get a lot of traction from my email marketing, but I didn't realize that it was this type of return of 40, 48 times, right? For every $1, it is a $48 return. Oh my gosh, like that is a lot. I want you guys to share this video. Please share this video. There are lots of entrepreneurs that really need this information. But when I saw that, I was like, okay, I need to really start paying attention to it. I was like, I need to put $3 into email marketing, right? Because now it, it's three times that. But, but seriously, though, a 48-time return? Oh, my gosh. I was like, yes. 
So again, think about this. So when we look at the, the return on investment across the different platforms, Email marketing is number one because the, and this is a 2016 statistic, so it's probably even higher now. There is a 73% return on investment, higher return on investment when you're utilizing email marketing versus other types of marketing, right? So that's your SEO. SEO is about 67%. Content marketing is about 62%. When you're doing like, you know, a paid search or, or paid reach, that's about 59%. And affiliate marketing is about 47%. Now, the reason that we are utilizing or comparing those platforms is because those are the comparable platforms, okay? Those are the platforms that are, that are going to be comparable. So when you think about it, first of all, most of us have more contacts across email than anything else, more direct contact, because think about it. Anyone that's your email contact, this is someone that you've had some type of relationship with, some type of connection with. So there is a connection there versus social media. Sometimes people just see something you post and they're like, oh, I want to follow this person or I want to be their friend. So, but there's no real substance there. With email, there is a substantive relationship that already exists. I believe this is what makes email marketing so much more effective. The other thing too with email marketing is that you have the ability to put the person's name in. So you can say, hey, Joe, we're friends on Facebook. I'm just making this up. Hey, Joe, we're friends on Facebook. I wanted to share this, this new, you know, whatever with you. Um, let me know what you think, right? And guess what? that's probably going to make Joe at least click it, right? Because if you put everything in email, it doesn't, it doesn't behoove Joe to go any further. So you have to make sure, and that's why I'm, I'm encouraging you guys to research this. You have to make sure that you have some systems in place that's going to intrigue people. I told you, for those of you that are as old as I am or older, you remember naughty by nature. This is nosy by nature. People are nosy by nature. They want to know, well, what's that about? right? So you don't tell them up front. You make them go search for it, right? Hopefully you're sending them back to your website. Hopefully you're sending them back to your great half-off opportunity or something that's going to prompt them to do what? Close the sale, make the deal, pull out their dollars, right? Okay. So again, remember I told you guys, on average, for every dollar that you spend on email marketing, you can, marketing, you can expect a return of $48. That is freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys are as excited as I am, but I'm excited about this, right? So email marketing is, is just as important as any other marketing. I think that people, people thrive on social media because it's sort of that, it's almost like a conversation. You have that immediate interaction, but I'm not, if you want to put it in the comments, you can. How many people really You've really closed deals just off social media, right? Very few. Oftentimes, you still have to connect before you can close the deal. That's what I'm talking about. Because remember, in email marketing, you already have that connection with people. Sometimes you just have to remind them. That's why it's very important to keep a reminder of how you know people. Have you a list down where you can say, hey, we met at the XYZ networking event. Now, okay, I know you, right? So again, just think about that. So let's jump real quickly into some of the strategies. And I kind of glossed over them uh, because I know that people are in and out. So one, number one, we're talking about these five tactics, five excellent tactics for better email marketing strategy. For those of you that are just joining us, Remember, I told you guys, I'm getting this research from superoffice.com. So I don't want anybody saying, oh, she was stealing somebody's information. You know, we don't do that. We don't do that on Power of Attorney. Uh, but one of the things, you know, like I mentioned to you guys before, you need to, you really, 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 really need to personalize your message. I mean, think about it. I see a lot of people even complaining on social media like, I really don't like the fact that people are just answering my question. You know, you want people to say, like, I love to see an email that says, hey, LaTanya, 
because it's it's going to make me read it. It's going to make me feel like you know me, right? So think about it. Whenever you can, you want to make sure that you send personalized messages. So for those of you that are that are using um, any type of email marketing campaign, that's why it's very important to have all the fields filled in so that when the people receive the email, it's not just hi and then an empty space. It's their name. So it's very personalized, right? So you use that customer data to create a personalized message, okay? So think about it. Uh, one of the examples that they give is dear, again, the name versus dear value customer. Think about that. It's like when you get a letter with your name on it versus to the current resident, you don't even open it, right? You just throw it in the trash because you already know it's some type of spam, okay? So you have to think about that. The other thing too is every email doesn't necessarily, shouldn't always have something that you're selling or something that you want to do. Use email marketing to share great information. And it may not even be your stuff. It may be something to benefit. Why am I saying that? Because you want people to, to identify you with someone that's investing in them, that's giving them great information, that's assisting them in their journey of being successful, right? So again, think about it. You need to personalize these messages. Personalize your emails, right? Because when you personalize emails, it is six times more likely that that recipient is going to actually do business with you, okay? Right? Think about that. Now, someone put in here one of the ones, I'm not familiar with that particular one, uh, Ken. So give us a little bit more information in the comment section. But again, think about it, right? Personalize your emails. So let's just, let, let's really think about that because there is an 18% higher open rate with email subjects or names that, that, that include your, your first name versus the ones that don't, right? Versus the ones that are, that are very generic. Okay, so you need to make sure you do that. For those of you that's using, again, any type of email system, like I told you before, segment the people so that you can say, if you have to, this is how we're connected, right? We're connected through social media, right? Is it Facebook? Is it LinkedIn, right? You're, you're my business contact on such and such. We met at this place or that place. Because at that point, right, you can send an email that says, Hi, LaTanya, great seeing you last night at the networking event. But you want to put what the networking event was, right? So that we know, okay, this is somebody I met last night. Let me go ahead and open this and respond, okay? A lot of this comes down with some type of CRM software. If you don't use it, make sure that you, you know, that, that you actually look at those. I know some people have put some in the comment section to, to give you some options. I've used several different ones, um, but I don't want to really throw anything out there because I don't know what's best for you, right? But again, segmented campaigns, there's there's an 18% uh, in, uh, deviation between those that do and those, those that don't. But the ones that do overall, the overall campaign has a 94% open rate and a 38% click-through rate, which means the click-through rate says not only did they open it, they went to look further. And remember I said a little bit at the top of the hour that you wanna make sure you put something in your email that's going to appeal to the nosiness, <laughs> okay? Good morning, everybody. You wanna, you wanna make sure you appeal to the nosiness. Nosy by nature, guys, don't forget. Don't, if you don't remember anything else, remember nosy by nature. That's gonna keep you focused when you're doing your email marketing. Number three, make sure that they are friendly to mobile devices. Everybody, everybody has something going on on their mobile devices. They're checking email, they're, they're checking their social media. Some people use mobile devices before they'll use a desktop. So just make sure that it doesn't look all strange because they're not gonna open it. They're not gonna wanna look at it. And when they cannot look at it with ease on their mobile devices, the research has shown that they will more than likely either unsubscribe 
or deleted, right? They're going to unsubscribe or they're going to delete it. You don't want them to do either one because if they unsubscribe, first of all, now they're off your list. If they delete it, that means that they never saw it. They don't care about it. They're not going to open it. And more than likely in the future, they are going to unsubscribe. So you want to make sure, again, that you that you are increasing the likelihood that they're going to open the email. When they get in there, you want to continue to increase the likelihood that they're going to click through, right? So this is one of the major ones that I talked about at the top of the hour. You want to test like different copy. And for those of you that don't know what that is, that's pretty much the verbiage and the words that you use in the body of your email, in your message. So your copy and your message is, is the same thing. You want to look at the design. You want to look at the, you know, the buttons. Is this something that's pleasing to the eye? Have you tested it? So it says, which email campaign elements do you routinely test? Now, this is something that I do, right? Most people test things like subject line, messaging. I do that. Call to action. So I'm going to go through all the things that you need to think about in your email. The subject line. Remember, I told you, you have to have an enticing subject line for them to open it. The next step is your messaging. When they do open it and they get in there, is there something that's going to interest them? The answer should be yes. There should be a call to action. Click here for register now you check out this video you can't afford to miss this right all of that okay that's your call to action what does the email look like remember i just told you the design it needs to be mobile friendly it needs to be desktop friendly make sure that it's personalized call people by their name everybody likes to be called by their name because that makes them feel special right do you have a landing page to send them the other thing too is the target audience. Don't just blanket send out emails. Remember, we talked at the top of the hour about segments. There are only certain segments of your target market that are gonna receive, wanna receive certain things. That's why you need to segment it out. And again, let them know that it's coming from you. Don't just have something generic, right? Don't just have some generic. Let them know that it's coming, coming from you, all right? So again, you need to do this A-B testing on your email subject lines. I told you guys at the top of the hour, you can research the, the most, uh, I guess you could call it like the most open, like most popular subject lines that, you know, successful subject lines or things like that. People like how-tos, people like information, people like, people like things that are going to increase their pleasure or decrease their pain, right? And the last thing you want to automate email campaigns, okay? So you don't want to have to be the person that's sitting there. And when you automate it, you're going you're gonna to be able to put it out in the best possible time, more likelihood that people are going to be sitting there opening it, and it's going to be based on their email open patterns, okay? So again, I'm going to share a couple of things. These are called trigger, trigger-based emails, okay? Trigger-based emails are the ones that, like I said, they're sent out, but they're based on user behavior, right? Welcome. Thank you. Anything transactional. Thanks for your order, right? Looking forward to seeing you on, on you know, on whatever. Uh, anything like that. If there's a response to something, send that out. These are the things that people tend to open and respond to, Okay. So you want to make sure that, that you're looking at that. So you got your direct email, uh, your direct marketing, right? Which is like your specials and all this type of stuff. But then you also have transactional emails. Remember, we talked about welcome, welcome to the team, uh, welcome to the list, all of those sorts of things. Thank you for coming by my store, all of this, right? You have to pay attention to behavior because the more you acknowledge the behavior, the more people are really going to feel like you know them, you're paying attention to this them. I've told you guys, when it comes to marketing, people have to feel special. One of the things that I consistently hear people say to me is, and I just talked with someone yesterday, I'm not going to say their name, but they're consistently on this broadcast. One of the things that they said was, 
I feel like you understand me because a lot of the things that you talk about are the things that I deal with. A lot of the things that you bring up are the, are the very things that I deal with. I don't know this person, but I've dealt with so many different people. I've been able to narrow down what are the main pain points? What are the main pleasure points? And plus, you guys are sending me great topics that I can then research and come back and talk about intelligently and share with God knows how many people that are having the same issues. So again, it does take time. It does take investment. But if you want to be successful, these are the things that you have to do. You got to invest your time. You got to invest in sweat equity. So I want to encourage all of you, if you are not utilizing email marketing, I want to encourage you to do that, right? I want to encourage you to really think about this because again, I was sleeping on email and then I had a few people ask about email marketing. So I said, well, let me see what's going on, right? I do a little bit, but not as much as I should. Now that I've done this research, I'm like, whoa. All you had to show me was for every dollar I spent, now it's a $48 return. You're kidding me? Absolutely. So again, thank you guys so much for being a part of Power of Attorney. I want to encourage you, focus on building your list. Whatever it is that you can do to capture information, connect with people. Don't just blindly send out email. Don't just um, rely on one form of communication because right now this is a global marketplace you may have no local clients if you're like me you have very few local clients most of my clients are outside of my metro area that could be because i'm quasi new to the area even though i grow, grew up here but at the same time you have to think my clients don't necessarily have to be here even if you have a brick and mortar business so what am i saying I want to encourage everyone to step outside of your comfort zone, but start with building your list and increasing your effective email marketing. So I want to wish you guys a great, safe weekend. Listen, continue to pray for Texas, continue to pray for Florida, continue to pray for the Caribbean and all of the areas that have been devastated by these hurricanes. I know that there's something else going on out there in the Caribbean. So we are just, listen, I want for those of you that pray, I want to ask you guys to continue to do that, right? Because we are all in this, in, we, if nothing else, we coexist in this world. And so we want to make sure that we are thinking about people that, that are in a negative situation. So again, thank you guys so much for being a part of Power of Attorney. Thanks to our sponsors, Global Grind Magazine, her to TV. So again, have a great weekend. Until Monday, do that email marketing, guys. Let me know how it works out. Have a great day.